So here is a very brief video showing the Y-axis limit switch setup that I put together on my GO704 benchtop milling machine. Uh, just same as the X-axis setup. I am using these, oh, let's see if I can get this to focus. The CS10N051C2 limit switches uh, available on eBay. They're fairly inexpensive and they seem to work pretty well. And uh, they mount to these brackets that I made out of eighth inch thick aluminum. I started out with two inch by two inch angle, but you may be able to use smaller pieces and save yourself a little bit of money. There's a bracket that mounts to the saddle using two existing holes. The limit switches fasten to that bracket. There's this rail that mounts to the base of the machine, has adjustable stops, and there's a few two M6 screws holding the rail to the base. You could potentially forego those and just use the same screws or same bolts that hold your machine to the workbench or to the stand, whatever. Uh, they would hold it in place also. And uh, yeah, it works pretty well. I don't have it wired up, but I can manually move the ball screws and I can tell that it's going to do its job. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out, this little cutout here, I did that because the top of the casting is not perfectly flat and when I laid the angle down on there it was kind of working like a rocking horse. So I just relieved the, the middle of it so it fits in there a little bit better. So I will, I'll include some images of the drawings with a few dimensions after this video and if you want to make one of these on your own, go right ahead. Uh, hopefully it will be helpful to you. So thanks for watching.